Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached this time in the markets where we are back into an expansion phase. What does this mean? Essentially, this is an ind indicator uh, that essentially tracks the market, open interest, uh, various exchange prices, uh, stuff like that, and the blockchain, of course, uh, and then predicts whether we are in a bullish market or a bearish market or a neutral market. And as we can see here, guys, um, when we are in the green, it's absolutely ridiculously bullish, most of the time anyway, right? Uh, but what we can say here is uh, now we are in the green again after waiting a month uh, at, in this pullback period, as we've seen, okay? Uh, um, yeah, now, now we're back in the green, so it is absolutely monumentally super, fantastically bullish, uh, the fact that this has come back in. Okay, let's take a look at the blockchain as well before we do jump into the TA. So that does look like it's recovering pretty nicely okay so again another great sign for bitcoin um just an indication that potentially we do continue our run up here uh, but a little bit worrying as well because um our halvening is still two months away right and typically before our halvening we will uh, oscillate around the range and then go parabolic um after the halvening okay but this time it does seem so far anyway that uh it does want to have a bit of a run up and the excitement's just hitting a lot of people People. We've got lots of adoption from the ETF, that kind of stuff. So maybe we do get a bit of a run up first and a bigger range forms before the halvening here. And that could mean that we get a ridiculous dump um, around the halvening as well. So just be aware of that. What we can say as well is, uh, yeah, I haven't actually been trading recently, guys. I've just been super busy and I have had the flu for the past week, which is not great. Okay, I've just, just been on, on, on my deathbed <laughs> for the past week, been pretty brutal. But uh, yeah, we are still roughly just under 10% up here on the challenge so what we're going to do here is wait for that next move and then bang it ideally it's a long okay so we want to break this high uh I, I know we've got the 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 run high that we have so far around 49k so if we break over probably around 50k something like that then we will be looking for a monumental long for another wave up basically into the mid 55s and that's going to be a pretty decent one if you want to basically copy my trades with copy trading guys feel free to uh, sign up on Fairdesk link is in the description and now let's jump straight in to the charts actually before we do that I do just want to show you the liquidation map here we go boom okay so we've got lots of liquidations here uh, if we do want to keep heading down which I think is fairly likely maybe we do get a, a bit of a wave up first but as of right now it does look like we are going to trickle down uh, as we did get that momentum last week okay so trickling down to probably the mid 40s around these these kind of and uh, not the mid 40s mid 47s i would say um and then potentially a wave up from there uh, there's a lot of uh, liquidity here to be grabbed uh, by these market makers a lot of liquidations uh, around this uh, 466 area so potentially we do visit that uh, but if we don't it's actually a very bullish sign and we'll just wait to break our highs and then bang it from there uh, besides that webinar feel free to sign up i'm going to walk you through a couple strategies now but if you want to learn the strategy sign up in the description let's jump in starting with uh, an update here from our last video right so from, from our last video guys i'm just checking everything's aligned yeah looks pretty good um checking on yeah our last video we had a, a measure move here right from our wedge structure that did play out absolutely completely so if you did find this trade congratulations let me know in the comments uh, i uh, unfortunately missed it i've been super sick and busy as well uh, it's just been pretty brutal for me <laughs> i would have loved to get this trade uh, but unfortunate and what we can say with this bad boy is that uh, we are testing this high as, as we can see as we've seen in in the previous charts of this video right uh, so uh, with this measure move complete i would just expect a pull back here on the daily to the 7 SMA okay we can see here <coughs> coming through uh, yeah we do like to pull back to the 7 SMA quite a lot okay and uh, not just pull back to it but smash through it a lot of the time recently as well so uh, maybe we do get one of these waves down to uh, the 46s but if it's super bullish uh, just a retest of 47 over the next couple days and then a break of the high will be good for an initiation uh, an extension of our move up to the top side of this bigger pattern structure okay if we are just going to get rid of that there beautiful stuff uh, the bigger pattern structure here guys i hear you asking is uh, this bad boy this wedge structure coming through the big yellow wedge as you can see here so what we're looking for with this uh, and if we are just going to get rid of this real quick 
Um, and you know what? We'll, we'll get rid of the uh, the one machine right now as well. We've, we're done with moving averages. So uh, we can see here, yeah, we've got this ginormous wedge structure. If we do want to just violate these highs uh, a little bit more, what we're going to be looking for here, I'm going to play a bit more cautiously, do this, right? What we're going to be looking for here, guys, is essentially this, right? So we break over about 52K and then we initiate a move up to about 63 three that is a monstrous move um do i think we get up there i mean there's plausible there's it's plausible that we get even as high as 70k if we do look at this linear regression or growth curve okay uh, i mean we we have tested this and it is something that's been respected on the way up and down here so uh yeah it's, it's definitely something you don't want to ignore if we do want to have a run up then uh yeah definitely a key area to watch for a potential pullback or a potential area of volatility but um <coughs> if we do want to hit hit this move towards the upside then uh real confirmation is around 53k just to keep keep you guys in the loop there as you can see it's a quite a decent horizontal level as well uh but do i think we get up there that's the real question i think it's possible there's not really too many patterns uh, we can see here we can see something a, a little bit like this okay we haven't made our high yet we need this day to end but if we do make a high here it'll be something along the lines of this okay uh so uh yeah i mean th there is there's there's an idea here that we if we do make a high then we get another measure move up to the mid 50s which uh which could take some time and if it does want to take its time we can stay inside this pattern and then have a bit of a pullback there uh before the halvening does come in and i feel like that's probably the more likely scenario here guys where we do make a high we do kind of test this area but it takes some time okay and then we get up to the 55 areas without breaking this pattern and then a pullback before the halvening and then from that point Guys, from that point, we go absolutely monumentally parabolic into the 100,000s. Let's go, okay? Let's go. Every halvening, we add a digit onto Bitcoin, typically anyway. Uh, and yeah, this time we're going for the... the was it the six digits the six digits coming through here uh, besides that guys let's just take a look at where we are right now i know this looks messy don't worry i'm gonna clean it up for you uh, we can see that um yeah what machine we are just in the middle of the thick of it okay uh, i do have two volume weighted atr bands here uh, because i wanted to show you guys the 12 hour which i will do now we can see a little pattern here that has just played out i did think about shorting this this morning guys uh, and i did actually on my main account uh, but it was more of a it was a fun little gamble i was expecting uh, but again this is just the cme close the area where cme uh, did get to let me just find it if i can find it here um yeah so cme actually closed around as you can see uh yeah 40 is that right 48.4 i think it was 40 yeah no, sorry i'm 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 still sick as you guys can see uh yeah 47.8 is what i'm getting at here uh, and yes uh, we we banged it up and we had a massive cme gap but that has filled uh, over the past day as you can see here so uh yeah just again proving my point here one of the biggest edges in the market guys is this cme gap and it's not just the cme gap oh we got this cme gap because cme gap could have potentially been filled uh, with this wick here that we had at a 482 okay uh, the real point here is uh, when cme closes typically when we get a move down uh, we'll get a move back up to where CME closes and, and vice versa towards the other side. Okay, so this time, yeah, we did get a bullish open, but we came back all the way to CME close essentially here, roughly about 100 bucks above. Uh, we can call it close enough. Uh, yes, just another edge coming through. Uh, if you do like these edges and you like these strategies, guys, again, I've been six years in the market. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, all of that good stuff. We are just testing below this 60 minute volume weighted ATR band here as well. Uh, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to bring up the 12 hour because that's going to be what's more important. Um, and yeah, we did find a few trades here towards the downside here on the main account uh, anyway uh, with this 12 hour. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it was, it, was a, it was a great time. It was a great time. Uh, we can also see that we tested a 15 minute over the weekend, which we did get rejected on and retested quite a few times. We've also played out this measure move. Uh, and yeah, from now, we're, we've just lost this 12 hour volume weighted ATR band. So that's uh, that's going to be an interesting time. If we can reclaim that uh, before the end of this 12-hour candle, if we do just go up to the 12-hour now, just to kind of see. <coughs> Let's have a look here. Okay, yeah, so we just we just opened a new 12-hour candle. So uh, yeah, not a great sign here, but yeah, if we can basically get above, get above this bad boy, uh, basically above um, 48.1, it's a lot more bullish here. Guys, uh, if not, I would expect us to probably come back down all the way to about 45 no not 45 i would i probably say let me bring up the um the old moving averages the trusty moving averages here on the daily let's have a look uh yeah probably down to about 46 two um <coughs> 
but it could be a wicking scenario, right? If it if it is super bullish, we come down, we grab all of those liquidations, and we bang it all the way back up very, very quickly. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to be too bullish here. As you guys know, I'm super neutral. Momentum looks like it's wearing off. Coming down, testing the moving averages is something we should expect to happen, okay? Uh, especially on this four hour. So we'll see how this goes. But yeah, 47, 46K is probably where I'm aiming at right now. And then from that point, uh, I'll be looking to break whatever line is formed on the way down here and then take a long in which we make copious amounts of cash uh, from whatever measure move forms down on this as well. Uh, so that's pretty much my plan coming through. If you want to learn a little bit more um, strategies here, uh, then yeah, feel free to sign up for the webinar because there were so many webinar trades. Those of you who have seen the webinar, you can see this, right? There were so many webinar trades all the way up here uh, on this one hour. Literally, you could have traded this the whole way up, like the whole way up. So uh, yeah, fantastic stuff. If you want to learn that, sign up in the description. If not, absolutely fine. Free content coming at you. Uh, all the time here. I might take a day off tomorrow because I'm a little bit sick still. Uh, but uh, yeah, if I'm feeling if I'm feeling good, I'll obviously get a video out for you guys. If not, I update you guys in the Telegram every single day. So feel free to sign up for that. Again, fair desk in the description if you want to copy my trades. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and goodbye from me, Hamilton. Cheers. Be sure to like the video as well. Thank you.